And look who's here. Uh, Elizabeth. Hi. Oh, what are you doing? She's your wife. I'm inviting her over. Lucky and I were just going over a few ways to tighten up security around the studio. As Sam's personal bodyguard, it's his job to make sure she's safe at all times, even on the set. Oh, would you like to join us? Oh, thank you, but I don't want to interrupt. Why are you here? After months of lying to my face, shutting me out, you show up on my couch. Ready to have a heart to heart? I think it's a little too late, Jason. I made my choice, you made yours. There's nothing left to say to each other. I found the men from the park. And I know you paid them to threaten Elizabeth and my son. Nicholas had to cancel our plans tonight, so I asked Elizabeth if she wanted to go out for a drink and catch up. I picked the place, not her, so uh, if I had known that you were gonna be here and it was gonna be an issue, I would have uh, suggested another place. It's not an issue. Enjoy drinks. Well, that was telling. What? You were so defensive with your wife, almost as if you got caught doing something illicit. Why is that, Lucky? Are you already cheating on Elizabeth with Sam, or do you just want to? Did you honestly think I wouldn't find out? Those men were paid to scare Elizabeth, not hurt her. They pulled a gun. The cops would have shown up. Who knows what could have happened? Cam and Jake could have been caught in the crossfire. I was there to make sure that didn't happen, Jason. So the way I see it, I did you a favor by staging that incident in the park. Elizabeth got a wake-up call before it's too late. So instead of standing here confronting me, you should be thanking me for saving your son from the real danger. Which would be you? your marriage you have to let lucky work through this in his own time in his own way what if he can't what if he is so hurt and angry there's just nothing left for us to save if you think that i am wrong about the danger and you're willing to risk elizabeth's life to be with your son or have one or both of them shot in your arms then just say so jason i will march down to her right now and tell her i set that whole thing up you know as well as i do you said it yourself Elizabeth and Jake, and don't forget Cameron, will never be safe with you. You stood by while Jake was kidnapped. You hired two men to threaten Elizabeth at gunpoint while her children watch. What is wrong with you? You want revenge? You want to be angry at somebody? You be angry at me. Jason, I gave up everything to be with you. I was shot because of you. I cannot have kids because of you. And then you go and have one with Elizabeth? You stay away from Elizabeth. Don't go near her children or her again. What, are you threatening me? If you hurt them again in any way, back up here you're not the only one to blame lucky created his fair share of problems long before you ever slept with jason i know but i could have handled things better i should have been honest with lucky from the start about everything I, just, I tried so hard to protect him and i just ended up driving him away just give him some more time wouldn't you rather that he be angry and lash out than turn to pills pills aren't the only thing he could turn to Greetings. 
The Jaffa trusts that Stone Cold's weapon of choice is being returned to the confines of its securely locked box, cold and unused. But clearly, Samantha made a gross error in judgment, hiring the threatening ones to menace Fair Elizabeth and your progeny in the park. But look, I... Like, I, I just have to believe that it was done out of hurt and I anger and that it's not about represented. Sam. So you need to do everything you can to make sure that she stays as far away from Elizabeth and my son as possible. And what if Samantha chooses not to listen? The Jackal will use his considerable pull as Samantha's friend and former roommate to urge her to abandon thoughts of retribution against Fair Elizabeth. And in the meantime, while I'm brokering the peace, you can inform the maternal one that she and her sons were never in any real danger. I'm not going to say anything to Elizabeth. Why not? Stone Cold, if, if Elizabeth learns the truth, she'll no doubt be more comfortable allowing contact between you and baby Jacob Doesn't Martin. matter. I'm not going to be seeing him again. You should know Sam hired Lucky Spencer to be her personal bodyguard. Seems she is very concerned for her personal safety now that the two of you are no longer together. I give it a week, maybe two, before she gets Lucky in the bed. Why are you telling me this? Elizabeth is going to need someone to console her, and since the two of you already share a son, you're the obvious choice. And yes, my primary interest is to watch Sam choke on her jealousy and frustration. While she sleeps with second best, and the man that got away lives happily ever after. It's what we in the business refer to as a Hollywood ending. And it's exactly what Sam deserves. Should we have a nice talk? Oh, yeah, we had a great talk. What a jerk I've been. Look, I'm really sorry for the way I acted back at the restaurant. I'm not going to blame you for being angry. I don't want to spend the rest of my life resenting you for something we can't change. I do want to find a way to get past all the pain and anger. I'm just not there yet. I understand. I'm not giving up on us either. I want to find a way to make it work. I know the secret of uh, baby Jake's true parentage hurt you deeply, but Jason has always been kind and generous to us. There's no defense for Jason. He is a blank wall, completely devoid of any real emotion. Okay. Jason may not wear his heart on his sleeve, but he's been a loyal friend and mentor to the Jackal, so if you could just refrain from trashing him, at least in my presence... Uh -uh. No, look, there's a disconnect with Jason. He is who he is, and he expects everyone in his life to make the adjustments. Right? I am tired of twisting myself in a knot to fit into his life. I left him with <laughs> everything I had, and he didn't love me back. So, you know, I just, I, I feel like after everything he's done, he definitely deserves to end up alone. I am grateful for the help you've given me. You know, at the trial, especially finding my son. But what I do... It doesn't would... entitle me to use your personal life as an instrument of my revenge. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'll spare you any further updates of Sam's seduction of Lucky, although I don't imagine it will take very long. As long as you're here, I need to know for sure. 
that you will never tell anyone that Jake is my son. That little boy has already been kidnapped once. That is enough danger for a lifetime. If you think he's safer being raised as Lucky Spencer's son, who am I to argue? I'll keep your secret, Jason. If only because I'd rather not have you think of me as someone you need to shut up. I wouldn't be too sure about Sam, though. Obviously, I'm biased, yes, but Sam is hurt and angry and somehow thinks of herself as a victim in all of this. She will do anything she can to hurt you, even if she has to use your son to do it. <laughs>